All right, welcome today. We got something really special for you guys. Is we're going to be, uh, this is welcome to Pastor Jamie's Kitchen. Uh, this is our special uh, kids' church. Normally, we would have a kids' church optic lesson or devotional that we would do in front of church. But since we're not at church today, we're doing it at home. We're going to demonstrate some cool things here, and you guys get to do the same thing at home. So I'm going to do a practice session first, and then you guys get to duplicate and do the same thing, and then tell me how the results turned out. So this is going to be super exciting today because I'm going to bake up a storm. Right, because I heard you're cooking. You might need this. Oh. Don't burn the house down again. Okay, well, I, I, yeah, I, true. Uh, as I was saying, <laughs> um, let me first start off with our first verse here. Romans 8, um, verse 28. So if you turn in your Bibles, it says this. Let me find it here in my Bible. And we know that all things work together for the good of them who love him and have been called according to his purpose. And we're going to be talking a little bit about this today, about how all things work together. So it's a combination of a lot of different things and how they all work together. And so I'm going to bake something really cool for you guys here. And then you guys get a chance to bake this at home as well and talk about it uh, with your families as well. So, first of all, I'm going to test and see a few different ingredients. There's a whole mix of ingredients here, and as you test them, you have to see whether they're good or bad, whether they're sweet or they're sour or they're slimy or it's delicious, and we're going to mix it together and see what happens out of this and hopefully not have to call 911. So, first thing we got to put in is one cup of brown sugar. So, we got our brown sugar here, and I have my little uh, taster. Let me see. So we have to taste the ingredient first. We'll take brown sugar, just like this, and then take a test to see. And I want you to know whether this is good. So you tell me what's good. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Definitely sweet. This is awesome. I could have more of that, but I've got to save it for the batch here for the special cooking. So we're going to put it in. All right. So that's our brown sugar. Next, we have to take a cup. So a cup of brown sugar and a cup of white sugar. Ooh, so taste this as well. Put a little taste tester, different one in there. You don't want to double dip. That would kind of gross out your uh, siblings. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, that's so good. I can already feel hyper kicking in right now. Okay, so take the white sugar, dump it in. All right, so brown sugar, white sugar, and then shortening or butter. We use butter here because my wife is Dutch. And so you take um, one cup, so that's a cup's worth, and you put it in. Now, first, we got to taste it to see how this tastes. We, tr we tried the brown sugar and the white sugar, take a little bit of butter. Mm. Oh, it's a little bit, ooh, <laughs> it's a little bit slimy, to be honest. It kind of slips down there like a goldfish. If you've ever ate a goldfish, that's what it kind of tastes like. Just kidding. Okay, so that, so we had some good, and then this tastes a little slimy. I don't know, the butter ooh, tastes a little funny, but we're going to put that in as well, all right? So let's put that in and see what happens. Make sure you follow the recipe here. Next, it says we need to add egg and vanilla. So we need one large farm egg. Ah, bummer, no eggs. Now what are we gonna do, what are we gonna do, what are we gonna do? Ah, ah. I know, we'll go get an egg. We're gonna go squeeze a chicken, come on. Oh, 
Try a little bit of that. Let's see how the egg tastes. I don't know if you, they, you know, if you want to try this at home, you might just skip this one. Oh, 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 no, ooh, ooh, no. Ugh, the egg is very slimy. Disgusting. We're gonna put the egg in there. Ooh, the egg is not good. Then you have vanilla. So try a little bit of vanilla in here. Let's try a little bit of that. Ooh, ooh. The van vanilla is really strong. Put the vanilla in. That's another tough one. And so that was a three teaspoons of vanilla, one teaspoon of baking soda, a little bit of that. Whoa! Mm, that is the most. Wow! That. My teeth go cleaner. That's very sour. Put that in. And then last but not least, we've got two cups of flour. Let's try a little bit of flour, see how that is. Yeah, not bad, not great, not bad. Sort of like one of those things that's so-so. So we'll make that in. Mix it up. because of course we're making chocolate chip cookies which I've been waiting the whole time to test and see if it's any good or not. Ooh! <laughs> I'll test one of those. Mm. Sweet or sour? What's it taste like? It's like in between. Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's a good balance. I think. Oh, good balance. All right. Mm -hmm. Good job. One more for the road. What? <laughs> <laughs> Cookies are done. Oh yeah, look at that. Maybe they're a little big. When you're making them, make them a little smaller so it doesn't turn into one giant cookie. Mm. 
No, that's a good cookie. Now you guys make chocolate chip cookies at home. The point of this all together is this. Kids, listen to me. Um, Psalm 34, 8 says, Open your mouth and taste and see how good God is. As you see, we mixed a whole bunch of things together. Some were really tasty. Some were sour. Some were slimy. Some were soft. You know, There's a whole mix of things that came together, just like in our life. Some things happened. They're really great birthday parties. You know, um, Days when we go to Candace Wonderland. There's some great moments that are like the chocolate chips and the sugar. Those are great. But then there are also some times that are, you know, a little bit challenging. Sometimes that are hard things that happen in our life. And really, we have to trust that when God mixes all of those things together, is that good things result. Even though we mixed sweet and salty and, and, and bitter uh, together um, with sweet here, we still came out with a cookie, you know, that, that tastes amazing. Because, again, God puts it together. So here's a couple things for you guys to think about at the end. What does it mean when we talked about... What does the scripture say? For the good of those that love him. You know, it says all things work together for the good of those that love God. So the key is those that love God, God's going to work together. The end result is going to be these delicious cookies. What would the cookies taste like if we left out the bitter ingredients? So, you know, I don't want any of the bitter. You know, I just want the sweet. So just put just the, just the sugar um, and just the chocolate chips. How would it have turned out? It'd be a solid mass, you know, it wouldn't have turned out at all. But talk about that, you know, guys, amongst your song, if you skipped all the things you didn't want to put into it. What are some bitter experiences that have been mixed into your life? What's some things that have happened that aren't so great that have been mixed in? What are some of the sweet ingredients? So I want you guys to talk about as well. What's some sweet ingredients? What's some great things that have happened that you guys are just really thankful for right now? And in closing, here's your homework. I want you to write a letter to God, thanking him for the goodness of his plan. So I want you to thank God for the amazing things that he has done in your life. Savannah, what are you doing? <gasps> mm.